Hello and welcome back. We move on to the module 2 now. This is on quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals means something with four. Quad means four. Four sides, four straight lines makes a quadrilateral. But in the first lesson, we are not dealing with quadrilaterals. We are dealing with polygons. Many sides, many sided shapes. So we are dealing specifically with the angles of polygons. So it's going to be an interesting lesson. It's on geometry. And let's begin. The learning objectives of this lesson are to prove the use of polygon interior angle sum theorem and to prove the use of polygon exterior angle sum theorem. In this itself, now imagine this is a polygon. Okay. Interior is all the angle that's inside this. Exterior is angle that is outside the outer angles. So that is it. We will look into uh, both, both of these objectives in this video. And the keyword is diagonal. Now let's jump into the lesson here. Interior angles of polygon. You can see this is a polygon. It's not a quadrilateral as exactly because it's more than four sides. One, two, three, four, five. But it is a quad. Uh, it is a polygon. Why it is more than uh, you, you know a many sided shape is called a polygon. But now here the important thing is diagonals. What is a diagonal? In a rectangle or a square, when we draw a line at its opposite sides, you know opposite corners or vertex. Vertex means whenever two lines form each other, the sharp corner is a vertex. So here, whenever the vertex is formed uh, and two uh, a line drawn through the opposite diagonals, I mean the uh, opposite vertex is a diagonal. But here, it is not in the opposite sides. Look away. This might be a little bit opposite. But what about this? Is this a diagonal? Now, remember, if there are more than four sides, any number of sides, when it's a polygon, you should not draw a line to the neighboring vertex that is not the adjacent vertex. If it's not to the next, then it's always a diagonal. Now, if I draw P to T a line, this is not a diagonal. But if I draw P to S, it's a diagonal. P to R, it's a diagonal. Let's draw from Q. Now, this would be a diagonal and this would be a diagonal. So Q to T and Q to S is a diagonal. So this is the concept behind it. But now we will look into the formula. There is no derivation as such, but only the formula is mentioned. So I'll directly take the formula. Whatever the angle is inside can be found out by a simplified formula. No, no, you do not need to, you know, uh, stress on how it is found. But this formula says n minus 2 times 180 degree. So what is this? Multiplied, sorry, it's times multiplied by 180 degree. This says this is the interior angle of any polygon inside angle. What is the total angle inside? Doesn't matter how many shapes, it can be modeled by this. But what is this n? Oh, sorry, n. n is the number of shapes. In this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n would be 5 minus 2. Multiply it with 180 degree. As simple as that. We will look into a problem now. Here, we need to find the interior, each interior angle. That means J, K, L, M, L, M, H. So H, J, K, L, M. All the angles must be found. But first of all, they are given in, you know, uh, variables. Only some angles are given. But how do we find the total angle? If you know the total angle only, then we can start solving. So what you do, what you need to do is basically use the formula n, sorry for that, one second, n minus 2 multiplied or times 180 degrees. Here, what is n? Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 minus 2 times 180. That is 3 times 180 So now 18 times 3 would be 60 minus 6, it's 54. So it's 540 degrees. So this is the total angle. Now this angle is for the entire uh, polygon. It's not a specific angle. It's the interior angle, the total angle of, uh, in the inside. But now this is no use. For, I mean, this is very important, but this is not what they asked. We need to find each interior angle, right? How do you do this? So we know the total angle is 540. 
What is that? That is inside, but that would be the sum. See, now inside, okay, uh, I was drawing like this, right? That would mean it's like this, all these angles, okay? I just realized the mistake I was drawing. I, I meant all the angles inside. So if you add all the angles inside, it would be 540. So now let's equate 540 to the sum of all the variables. I mean, for uh, all this 2x and everything. So 2x plus 142 plus 2x again plus 3x over here, 3x plus 14 plus 3x plus 14. So these are all the terms which we need to add 142. So when you add all these angles inside angles, you must get 540. You can use a calculator and solve it directly or we can simplify it. 540 equals 2x plus 2x would be 4x, 4 plus 3 is 7, again over here 3, 10, 3, 6, 10, yeah, it's 10x plus, you need to add all the constants, it's 14 plus 14, it's 28, 28, 150, 170 over here, and now you need to take it to the other side and solve it, and then divide by 10, so let me just do it, so let me keep this 10x at one side only, I'm writing this side first and this goes to the other side that would mean 540 minus 170 and it's 54 minus 17 so you will be having 34 plus 3 36 it'll be 10x would be 360 and divide this by 10 you will get x equals 36 degrees so now x is 36 let's just double check answers so 540 and okay it's 37 54 plus 3 is okay sorry 37 I, I did a mistake it's 37 over here it should be 370 over here first of all okay when you subtract this and that's the answer now you got the x value as 37 but that is not the answer you got the x equals 37 you need the angles what is this angle 2 times 37 so it'll be 35 70 74 this is 74 degrees this is already given it's fine 142 this is again 74 and what about this 3 times 37 plus 14 uh, 90 plus 28 uh, 118 plus 14 you will get 100 and <laughs> my mind is just getting fried 10, 20, 32, 132 is over here. So these both are 132 and this is 74 and 140, uh, 142. I hope these are all right. Let's just, just double check. So as I, I'm just wrong again. So guys, lesson learned, use your calculators. Don't try to, you know, just do it by yourselves. Now here, what did I do? The mistake 30, 60, 90, 90, Okay, yes, 108, this, uh, this suppose, okay, but still anyways, uh, it's just that I'm tired, I guess, and I'm not able to do the calculations in my mind. Just make sure you solve it directly. Now, next problem, I'll do it in calculator entirely so you'll understand. All you need to do is multiply this X value we found was 37, okay? So just do 2 times 37. That would be the answer for the first one. That's 74. Okay, I, I, I wrote completely wrong. I, okay, this was correct, but next one was wrong. So here, what you need to do, the next one, 3 times x plus 14, it's 125. Okay, so these are the answers for all the angles. Now, remember, uh, in the exam, they may not ask you all the angles. Just make sure which is asked and solve only for that. Don't go to do all and waste time. Just do whichever is asked. In this case, yes, they have asked for all. Let's just do it and understand. Now, one more thing. Don't make one mistake, which uh, many students do. Looking at this X value, they might, you, might, you might have a tendency to select this as the correct answer. No, that is not the correct answer. This is this is the x value only. What you need to do is substitute back and then find the answer. What I mean is, let's do this next problem check. It'll, you'll understand better over here. First thing, they have told us to find only the measure of E. But we can't find directly E without finding the total angle. So let's take the total angle over here. We know N minus 2 multiplied with 180. 
So all you need to do is count the sides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 minus 2 multiplied with 180. So it's 4 times 180. 18 times 4. But anyways, I, I'll use the calculator over here now. It's 180. And this is the answer, 720. Okay, it's 720. Now what? This is not the answer. This is the total angle. Like if you add A, B, C, D, E, F, you're going to get 70. So this will be equal to the sum of all these angles. Say X plus 2 plus X minus 8 plus X plus 7 plus X minus 3 plus X plus 6 and lastly plus X minus 4. Now here, these are the uh, these are the values, entire values. So now what you do is you're just equated and directly you can find it. 720 equals X. You can just add up all these X's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6X. And let's subtract 2, 8, uh, all the negative 11, minus 11. All the positives, okay, there is one more, minus 15 over here. Let's add all the positives. It is 9 plus 6. Again, 15. So this all cancels out. It's going to be 0, okay? So this will be 0 if you just do the calculation. So it is 720 equals 6x. So what you can do is 720 divided by 6. Divide 6 on both the sides. It's 120. So now we got the x value equals 120. Looking at the option, please don't select 120. That is wrong. X value is 120. What you need is E. E is X plus 6. So it will be add 6 to this. It will be 126. That is the correct answer. So please make sure whenever you find the X value, don't jump to select that answer. No. See what you need to solve. It's only E. So E is 126. That's how we solve it. Now, the real world problem here. Uh, Penny is building a house using a floor plan that she designed. What is the measure of ABC? So this ABC is over here. It's a part of a hexagon. So can you see this hexagon? Six sides means hexagon. Five sides is pentagon. Seven is heptagon and so on. Octagon would be eight sides. And we will see some others. Now here, guys, look carefully. There are six sides, but they are written like this. What, that, what does that mean? Whenever that lines are there to all these sides, that means it's equal. All these sides are equal. It's called a regular hexagon. It will be regular hexagon, not just hexagon. It's a regular. Regular means all these sides are equal in this. Now, how do you solve this? It's the same thing. Now, we know the total angle would be N minus 2 multiplied by 180. You can find uh, the total angle over here. Let's quickly do it. So it is n is how much? n is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We just did this, right? So it'll be 4 times 180. That'll be 2, 720. 6 minus 2. I'll just write it over here. It's 6 sides. The sides are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Minus 2 multiplied with 180. It's 4 times 180. We got 72. But that's fine. But we add the x values. We knew what was the angle. But here nothing is given. How do I do it? Now, guys, whenever it's regular, it's not only really the sides, it's the angles that are equal as well. Regular hexagon, uh, regular hexagon would mean its sides and angles are equal. Now, this all are equal. Okay, all these angles. Now, imagine I take this angle as X. So, what's going to be the other angles? X, 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 X and X. So, what you can write is this is equal to 6X. Or oh, the easier way would be there are six in a hexagon, there are six sides one, two, three, four, five, six. So just write six X. And the total angle 720 divided by six, which we just did 120, this would be the answer. The angle for ABC, this particular angle over here, would be 120. Let's see the final answer. This is all explanation. You can go through that. See over here, where did they find? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's covering. It's 720. And then what you do is you basically do 720 divided by X. That will be for one side. And this is how you solve it. It's uh, 120 degrees per side. 
This is how we can solve with the same concept of the first example problem. Now here, oh sorry, the answer is visible directly, my bad. Anyways, Miguel has commissioned a Pentagon koi pond to be built in the backyard. He wants the pond to have a deck of equal width around it. The lengths of the interior deck, si deck sides are the same length and the lengths of the exterior sides are the same. Me so now they have told uh, the sides are all equal okay so if that's equal then what happens all the angles are also equal so now what basically you need to do is we need to measure the angle between the two sides okay just between the two sides you need to find it's just finding an angle okay whatever it's written um, all you need to do is understand this is a pentagon that is five sides now n minus 2 times 180 but over here n is 5 minus 2 minus 2 times 180 it's 3 times 180 that would be you have done this a while ago it would be uh i'm just too tired to do it in mind it's not that I can't do but you know i'm just tired uh it's 3 times 180 that means it's 54 540 okay so we had done a problem initially about pentagon as well but this is not your answer 540 is how many angles are there one two three four five so this divided by five would give you the answer that is 108 degrees so the angle between two decks is two sides is 180 day 108 degree why because you find the total angle three times 180 that is 540 degrees and then we know pentagon has five sides and this is a regular one that means all angles are equal so you just divide it so divide the answer by five that is 540 by five is 180 degree it's simple as that let's move on to the next one again it's similar see they have told a regular polygon let's do it quickly a regular polygon is how much 100 and, uh, wait the measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is 144 degree find the number of sides okay now it's a little bit confused uh, not confusing it's other way around in the sense they have told one of the polygon a regular polygon has we don't know the uh, sides has one of the angle is 144 degrees and it's regular that means all the sides how much ever it is has the same angle it's only 144 at every side we need to find number of sides now we know the total angle total angle is equal to sum of all the angles right interior all this is interior ti sum of all interior angles in the sense now if i have something like this this what is the total angle it is n minus 2 multiplied with 180 degree isn't it this is the thing equals to what sum of all the interior angles right sum of all these so how many are there if i if i know one it's if it's regular now if this is 90 then all are 90 so i can do whatever i know multiplied by the number of sides so here n is number of sides so how can i write the this angle i can write 144 into n let me let me explain this again look carefully we know the total angle sum of interior angles is given by this formula where sides minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree that means what sum of all the interior angles now imagine we don't know what is the we know what is the interior angle 144 what is the total angle sum of all right that means multiply the single angle multiply by the number of sides that is what it happens now uh, if you just go back one minute let's quickly go back here let's do uh, the starting problem now here oh wait it's all written so i'm taking this uh this part here you can see this is a pentagon we got 540 degrees this 540 degree is equal to the sum of all these angles right we equate them both now here what we do is here in this case we are not going to equate them because they have told it's a regular so all is equal so 144 multiplied by the number of sides and left side we are writing the uh, formula for the uh, using the number of sides now just solve this equation it will be 9 multiplied by 180 is 180 and minus n minus 36 360 
equals 144n uh, n this is okay sides now take this to the other side 180 minus 144 both as n and n equals this becomes positive it is 360 now 180 minus 44 it is 30 36 36 n equals 360 n is 10 that means the number of sides is 10 it's a dodeca uh, dodecahedron i mean dodecagon sorry dodecagon okay let me just see yeah it's decagon sorry it's just a decagon i'm just confusing myself 10 means de deca decagon so here you can see you have to just multiply for 144 degrees you don't know the number of sides it's fine just multiply by n what we did over here multiply by n and equate it to the formula for the total interior angle that is n minus 2 times 180 and now solve it and find the n it is 10 number of sides we will move to the next problem sorry here also the answer is visible but anyways let's do this problem measure the measure of an interior angle of regular polygon this is very important regular means the sides and angles are equal okay so let us tell the total angle will be n times one of the angles so i'm not sure how it is i imagine it's something like this if one is 150 it can't be a square a rectangle but anyways if it's one, one side of 150 then all the others are the same okay so now here what do we write n into 150 this is equal to what the formula which is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 now you need to just simplify this or you can put directly in your calculator so it's 150 n equals 180 n minus 360 now all you need to do is take this to the other side and 150 to the other side so have them it'll be 360 positive from negative becomes positive equals 180 n minus 150 n now you will be getting 360 equals 30 n 30 uh, n will be divided by 30 over here it's gonna be 12 times 3 twelves are 36 so the answer is 12 it's 12 sides so that's the answer very straightforward so here's the steps you can just check this through and we can easily solve it just remember this equation number of side times uh, number of side times the angle equals n minus 2 into 180 degree here n and n is you know unknown so we solve it to find out n it's 12 sides over here now till now all the three problems were about interior the inner angles now let's move on to the exterior angles of polygon where here we will measure the outside angles you can see these outside angles are solved how do we do this it's very simple doesn't matter how many angles are there let it be six or seven or eight or maybe decagon that's ten sides all these exterior angles will be summing up to 360 degree only so you don't have to worry it's just going to be equal to 360 so that is what you'll be doing now over here you have so many unknown angles right add them up it's very straightforward 139 plus 2x plus 9x plus 6x this all will be equal to 360 degree always doesn't matter what it must be equal to 360 the exterior angle you can put this directly in calculator but over here let's solve 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 2 17 x equals 360 minus 139 minus 139 over here it's gonna be uh 221 okay it's 17 so i know seven times 10 is 170 then we have three i guess it's gonna be about uh 13 okay okay it's gonna be anyways let's do use the calculator uh 221 divided by 13 17 will be equal to 13 yes okay i should have done it anyways now x is equal to 13 that's the answer and here you go x is 13 they have just asked to find the value of x the answer would be 13 now don't go to solve for any angle they have just mentioned x and that's the value of x very simple just add all the angles equated to 360 let's see one more problem pause the video try it by yourself again a simple problem 
here you need to equal all of these 2x plus 88 plus x plus 10 plus x plus 2 over here x plus 2 and then what do we have 52 this is equal to 360 all you need to do is equate this to um, in the calculator equate all the angles to 360 you can put in the calculator let's do it by solving now 2x plus x will be 3x over here 3x and uh, sorry there's one more x right 2x is over here it's 4x so 4x would be you will be adding it with 88 plus 10 is 98 plus 200 152 152 equals 360 so all you have to do is 4x equals 360 minus 152 and divided this by 4 by 4 it will be x equals 2 let's do it directly 360 minus 152 divided by 4 and here you go it's 52 this is the answer option number b that is the answer so that's how we solve when you are find the exterior angles let's see another one now here they have not given a figure they have just told a regular dodecagon how much is dodecagon decagon is basically 10 sides but here the important thing is regular regular means all the sides are equal okay there's no figure anyways uh oh sorry dodeca now uh i forgot deca is 10 do do deca is 12 do is 2 to 12 okay so this is the uh, name for dodeca dodeca is to all sides now all you need to do is over here dodecagon they have not given anything but you know there will be to all outside angles so we will take to all x okay equals to what 360 so this is for one side you know it will be something like uh, okay that's not at all dodeca but there'll be total 15 sides okay anyways just imagine this is dodecagon uh, sorry 12 sides imagine there are 12 sides the exteriors okay each of these would be corresponding to same value why because it is regular so all the exterior angles will be equal to x uh, imagine it's x all will be same so there are how many sides 12 12 x equals 360 just take 12 to the other side it will be x equals 1 2 30 x will be 30 that's it because 12, 360 divided by 12 is 30 that will be the answer very straightforward over here n is taken but it's the same thing it is same measure of each exterior angle n will be one exterior angle but there are totally 12 so 12 into n that's it and uh, here we have again i'm sorry the answer is visible but still let's do it octagon eight sides so eight n or x equals 360 just divide um, 360 by 8 you can use your calculator and we have the answer is anyways there so it's 360 divided by 8 that will be 45 degrees and this is how you solve it's a very easy lesson very simple lesson and that's the end so just before we finish i just want you to remember n minus 2 times 180 is one of the most important formula in this lesson and remember regular means equal regular means equal this is for the interior angle if it's exterior equate all the angles to 360 degree and this is how we get the answer for interior it changes depending on sides but exterior doesn't matter what it will be the same so that's the end of this first lesson um i hope it has been helpful and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel do subscribe it would mean a lot to me uh, i would greatly appreciate it and if you have any doubts in this lesson or any other lesson do post them in the comment section and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and until the next video stay tuned and bye bye for now